Hey, what is going on, you good looking people? My name is Mr. J93. Welcome back to another uh, toy review. Today, uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at, uh, well, store exclusive or Walmart exclusive of a, you know, fusion battle bundle, which is actually what it's called. It's apparently backwards on my screen when I enter my viewfinder. Which is kind of the whole reason why I'm wearing sunglasses. Uh, but these, this specific pack, well, this, if we get a battle bundle, uh, which is, I consider this as a great deal. Uh, it's it's only a Walmart exclusive as you see, but a sticker. It's you can find these at Walmart. Uh, the currently, uh, I believe, uh, Armored Alliance had a had a battle bundle, not a fusion battle bundle, but they had one where I think you had a I think you had a new Dragonoid, uh, well, the core Dragonoid with the Nilius battle bundle. I think I might be confusing that with just a battle planet, just the original battle planet, but. Each time, each season, they always, each season Walmart has a a battle bundle with the you know extra aqua cores and all that stuff, which I will actually go into a little bit because I am digging the fusion force. Which the whole premise of this is actually combining two Pokemon into one. Which if you guys already know, you already like if you've already seen the whole one for the explanation. But yeah, this is for uh, this current season, which is actually ending soon. Uh, Pokemon Armor Alliance Fusion Force. Well, it should be just Fusion Force, but it's part of the Armor Alliance way, the sub section of it. Yes, I do actually watch the anime. Yes, yeah. But yeah, you do actually have exclusive, uh, exclusive Pokemon that you can't actually find this, find these individually. Uh, again, these are all core Pokemon, so it's really simple, which kind of explain why they actually didn't include the instructions that actually had to close it. I'll, I'm still unsure how to close it. I'm actually afraid of, you know, breaking uh, all limbs and all that stuff. But yeah, kind of, the reason why it's a bundle is because uh, it comes with like a play mat or something. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a battle mat. Uh, you can just nail it on your wall or hang it up somewhere if you really want to, but uh, it's not, it's not that expensive. I'm actually going to try to fit the battle mat in. This thing, the battle mat is actually, well, for those of you in Europe, it's 60 centimeters wide, it's quite, quite large. It's basically like a play mat for you, but the only reason why I decided to do this because I'll show you in the back, but this is mostly uh, normal, you know, the awesome, awesome brawlers, the awesome ones at Bakugan, fused with, you know, Arlis Bakugan. That's kind of the whole reason why I kind of decided to get it, but it's not in the normal Arlis, but you, you get it out. But yeah, because it's exclusive of, exclusive of the trucks. Ex Ex Nobilius, um, which Nobilius isn't actually a native Arlo's one, but this one you, you also have the Hy Hydra's Ex Trino one, which there is actually an Ultra, currently an Ultra version of this. Uh, I do have. I, I, I initially thought I had uh, the exclusive, this one in the Ultra version, but it turned out to, I believe, the Cyrus. Bakugan, but yeah, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go to that in a little bit. But come around to the back here, uh, it does actually show you which one it is. But currently, uh, this is this is the whole reason why, you guys couldn't see it. But this this one right here is the whole reason why I decided I should get this is because, well, fangs are expect mantanoid, uh, fangs are being the RLS one, at least according to the card. And there, there's another one which I actually will explain that is actually not really you know. Accurate, but yeah, uh, this is kind of reason why because an all this famous or is actually my go to for uh, you know my team, but there's apparently no all this cards to actually play as. But yeah, I just try to know, and these are the main ones that are supposedly fine. Find at some point, there's the Stark like Cyrus, which I do believe I have the ultra version of this, I'll check this later, but yeah. It, then it comes with two of the gate cards, which special fusion gate cards, which do actually have some special aspects. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this packaging. But uh, yeah, I'm more than likely gonna actually gonna keep this because it gets sore a whole lot of luck on. But the whole purpose of your actually getting this is this gigantic playmat. Uh, it's massive. But yeah, obviously this is actually won't actually fit in that box there. So that so when you actually do get it, it's actually actually folded up. So it's actually folded into like a little, you know, it's, it's kind of like one of those like foldable frisbees you, you get for, for like in the summer camp. 
or something, or something like some health event. So I don't know. I've actually seen other things actually like form like this, but it's uh, I'm, ah, I slap myself in the face with this, but yeah, it basically shows you know something. I I don't really prefer to actually. I'm not going to use this as a rolling mat. I mean, you probably could use it rolling mat. I mean, just take one of the baka cores in here. Uh, you could. I mean, it kind of fits, but. Uh, I'm not gonna be using this as a rolling mat, but uh, on on this, on, so you can see it right here. The, these are the you know unfused, the two that actually fuse together from this. But uh, yeah, basically uh, this whole thing is a giant one giant play mat if you choose to. But uh, yeah, on all, both on the top and bottom, uh, you do actually have a, a you couldn't see it, but yeah, there's a hoop right here so if you do want to actually nails in the wall or put a put a nail or hang it up in the wall if you do have something to hang it you just nail it and just you can just hang this kind of background I mean I don't know I could probably hang it up in the background uh, it just kind of looks weird when it's hanging kind of like that behind me because that wall right there is actually quite far away so yeah that's just gonna look increasingly abnormal but uh yeah I mean this I've thrown this well, it's pressed pretty well, but it's not going to be thrown, it's a playmat. But uh, yeah, so let's get on to the Bakugan itself. Okay guys, so uh, here we have the four core Bakugan. Went up and, well, I've seen their, uh, you know, ball form. And after, I actually did do a little bit of checking. Uh, it's actually not the Trexic Cyrus, which is the Ultra one and a half. It's actually the Ultra version of, I believe it's Ultra version of, it's this one? I don't know. I, I made a checklist. I don't. You can't really tell. This are I believe. It's uh, what the box. I believe it's. Uh, truck, I'm conf I'm confused. Now. It's. I mean, these the green is they're both trucks. I believe this. Yeah, this is the one that I have. This is the truck X Nobilius. Uh, well, Faction Fusion uh, Trucks X Arliss, which is actually what they call on the show. But uh, just actually doing a comparison, this is actually the core card, and this is actually the Ultra one that I have. Oh, this is actually the Fuse one, but in the back, uh, the Ultra one, obviously, you do see that uh, there is a difference. I believe they actually choose, uh, just pick a random one, I believe. This one, I believe they took the, for the one in the in this pack, uh, I believe they took the the B power of the faction uh, of the of the Arliss power to uh, you know put on a card, and I think they also took the they mix it or something. I don't know, but I don't have. I, I do recall I actually do have an Arliss Obelius somewhere in my room. It's only an Ultra one, but yeah, this the this one's actually both Ultra, but uh, yeah. Yeah, now to actually, you know, you can either, like, hit, you can either pay the energy costs, like, four of the energy cards, like, four of the action, four of these, uh, action cards to actually, you know, start fusing, or what you can do is actually, uh, hit, hit one of these Baku cores that actually has the fusion symbol on it, so you should hit it, but... Uh, well, depending on actually how uh, strong it is, this is actually four, so you're gonna have to pay four energy. Whereas this one's eight, so yeah, you can you can try luck on this, but uh, yeah. Now, obviously, yeah. We're well, now with these. Just taking a look at the actual character. Well, I will be actually taking a look at these individually, but coming on the actual, you know. Specifically, the actual fusion players, you know, power cards or just the ability cards. Uh, now, actually, what, what you can do is you can actually, uh, you know, well, this is action which actually deals it to the opponent, actually not yours, which kind of will be kind of useless. Well, 200, which is right, Razu, I believe this Razu is actually. If you take 200, that's, I think that cuts Rai Razu's uh, B power, so it's going to be dealing 200 to the opponent. But, uh, yeah, this is plus 300. This is 
action buckler action uh, aqua slash and sometimes you use spirit you use this you gotta address two does she use some of these and then and then these are the buckle gears which are actually for the fusion so you can't actually use these for a lot of, like like this like let's say if I have like like my own you know my, my actual go-to is uh, Fang Zord I can, actually can't use this I actually need like one of these two because it's actually match the fashion symbol or to use but this I would actually need to this you know take off the top card which is kind of a it costs you to choose a top card plus actually three of the three of these to actually use it. But, you know, Arlo's driller, which this is for the the Ventus and Arlo's uh, faction, but uh, yeah, the only thing I'm kind of waiting for is actually get the fusion uh, Baku Baku gear, but uh, yeah. Now another another selling point of Oh, this is before I actually get to the characters. Uh, are actually uh, these uh, gate training cards. Now, I, from what I've actually seen, uh, this actually uses the original uh, battle brawlers uh, aspect of the game, where you don't actually have to hit hit one of these buckle cores on it, uh, which kind of actually saves it a lot. Basically, so what you do is you actually need three of these. For each, and he basically just put this down like this, like face down like that, and then just roll it, hit it, hit one of these, and basically whatever faction you have, like, you know, it lists the number of factions here, it lists all of them, but, but I'm not entirely sure how to actually, you know, use a fusion. I'm gonna have to actually take a look at these, but yeah, this is uh, this is a Sabrus, which is actually a fusion of more than one Sabra, Sabrus. Sabra, but if it's a Pyrus Sabrus, but technically Sabrus is a fusion of all five attributes. So, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. No, yeah, it's all it's all five attributes. I don't have the R on this one. Yeah, so it's all five. But yeah, this is the Hydrus. Hydrus, I can't tell. I don't think this is the actual fusion. I'm going to just right off the top of my head, but I'm going to hit it, but... Yeah. The, so far, what I've seen is uh, you and Ashley will not get a negative uh, effect if you actually have one of these. So usually it's just either just zero. So if for, in, for the sa Sabres uh, car, if if, uh, if an Aquos, uh, you don't get a, any additional as aspect. But for this, a Darkest. Uh, attribute will actually, you know, not get any benefit. But this, uh, well, my my main are an Arliss or Pyrus. So, you know, the Golden and the Fire. So, uh, either one is actually seems pretty good. But I, I kind of prefer, because, you know, ours, ours starts with quite a lot of a B power. But, yeah, I'll actually be using these instead of Buck Wars. Now, since it comes... With this is a kind of a battle or fusion bundle, it comes with a whole ton of uh buck cores. But uh, yeah, obviously, uh, if you choose these buck play with the buck cores, uh, you need to actually pick out the one that actually corresponds with the ones on the top. So in this case, it'd be the, the helix, which is basically the DNA thing, and the actual green fist. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, the thing with this is you see that if, well, if this won't do anything, it's not a fusion. So you need to hit this and get a fusion. I think I see, see one that doesn't actually have fusion. I don't know. Yeah, see it's down here. You see down here. If it's not a fusion, you can actually get plus two, a, you know, card player damage. So meaning the two here would to basically just knock. Uh, your opponent would take out the two cards and basically discard uh, two in his player deck. But uh, yeah, it's it's up to you if you really want to actually uh, use it. But uh, yeah, I I actually like the fusion. Well, now apparently I don't know if you can actually see this, but uh, it, yeah, right there you can actually see it as 
that actually raised aspects like 200 B power. Whereas this, there's nothing raised here. So it's actually the Baku Gear ones that actually have have been raised. Now, I can actually see which ones I actually have. Now, I do believe that this is a Chox X Nobilius. Okay, so uh, let's do this. I believe this is Chox Nobilius. Yep, this is a Chox X Nobilius. Now, this is the open one. Now, just before I actually show you the Ultra, uh, let's take here look and this all around. It's 300. Actually matches the card. Now obviously now it has both the dual faction symbol Arlis in the Ventus one here. But uh yeah, it's a Trox. I mean these two are both the Ventus one has a Trox. Now obviously I will actually do a comparison with the one I have. This is the same. This is a Trox X Nobilis, but this is the Ultra. This is the Ultra version. Uh you can see it is a lot more moving parts. And because you actually have to like pull this back, or is this? Yeah, you kind of have to do something similar, but more, more moving parts on Ultra. I mean, you do see similar aspects here, the wings here. With this, eh, I kind of kind of like it, like the fusion, the force, where you actually do have more, you know, you know, more similarities. Whereas the one of the just a regular just on the lines one, uh, it just has ultra one is just like completely different like like the, whatever the dog from uh, lightnings uh like some serpent lightnings a dark serpent i'm blanking on the name but uh yeah the halcor halcor the lightnings halcor is different completely different from Core and Ultra, whereas the Fusion Force they try to actually do something similar, actually look remotely similar to it. But yeah, that's the as comparison. I'm actually not believing this because it's not part of the product. But uh, yeah, this is actually the card like I showed you. You can play four, and then once you four energy just to automatic fuse instead of hitting a here, and it comes up to be 900. But you probably, yes, it's a double sided card. I'm actually not editing anything in it. Double sided card. You get six tank damage, nine hundred B power, and uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, I do believe uh, you may actually use box card. Don't actually quote me on this. When I've heard, uh, you don't need to actually put this on the field to actually hit. You can just use one of these. But uh, yeah, it is. But uh, yeah, taking out the next one. The, this is a truck like Cyrus. But uh, yeah. Now Cyrus, it's Leo Venegas. Uh, Heos, or Heos, Heos, however you say it, Heos, uh, Bakugan, but this, the Arliss one is the Heos one, it, Ar Arliss is the Cyrus one, but I do actually have Cyrus, but I can't exactly compare, I do actually, I don't actually have the core trucks from the, you know, the battle, or armored alliance one, which, Sadly, but uh, yeah, now I'm actually trying to actually find the card here. Now, that's actually a cool one. Now, obviously, it starts at 100, which I believe it, it takes the Cyrus because, or at least the uh, Trox, the core Trox, but whatever, the, yeah, 100 matches, but uh, yeah. Now, without one, that's you probably want to fuse this like straight up, but it takes five, or you can actually hit a box core, which actually has an F, but uh, yeah. But once you fuse it up, it's an ultimate power up. You get 1000 B power plus 10 damage, which each turn your opponent will need to take 10 cards and you know, discard 10 cards. Basically, you need to do four turns and four, well, actually. 11, technically 11 because he's 40 plus 1 and you'll get rid of the card deck but uh yeah fusion but uh yeah it's actually cool like trucks actually you know, roaring but uh, yeah send this off now now hopefully i don't actually knock my camera over i'm going to keep adjusting it but yeah i will actually like go with this guy last this is actually my my favorite i'll put this guy off to the side 
and actually taking out this is the Hydrus Extrino car, which this is actually even more powerful than the Troxx Cyrus. Or well, now actually taking this, uh, there is an actual ultra version of this. You can actually get this in retail, the actual you know ultra version, but not the core one. This core one is actually exclusive. I actually couldn't find it, but uh, yeah. Here is the actual core one, but as you can see here, uh, Hydrus actually does not have the actual horns. So this is actually from Trino, who's actually from the last season, which, yeah. I believe Trino's Ultra version, but yeah, you do Hydrus, this actually shuns, uh, well, Hy Hydrus is shuns Machan, that shun actually does also carry Trino with him. But yeah, now Trox, both Trox, uh, Trox is, you know, this Trox is Winton Styles, uh, Bakugan, but uh, yeah, again, you do the dual fashion. I don't know what these peg holes are for. I don't know if you're supposed to like jam something in there or something. I don't know what this is. Apparently, all these actually do have a peg hole, but yeah, you can paste eight to actually automatically fuse, or you can just set a buckle core. But uh, yeah, obviously, it's 800. I believe I can find it if it's on tell yeah 600 yeah it's pretty pretty powerful just without fusing it's just 600 now you can you can actually just play you know use this as your actual you know <coughs> excuse me as your actual faction as unfused you actually play 603 and if you choose to you can actually eventually it just fused but uh yeah you can now when you fuse it the eight or hit by core, you get 1200 B fusing obviously because you know the Arliss now Trino is an Arliss leader which 1200 uh that's mostly from uh Trino which I believe Trino is also 600 I don't know if it actually has any effect but 12 12 B power is actually pretty good lastly uh you have Fangs or X Mantinoi now the reason why I I decided to get this was because my actually my favorite you know fans was actually my go-to because I do actually like the same as it's fairly simple. Now you actually have the main aspect of this now actually before I actually show you the actual card. Uh this guy out. Yes, uh now for some reason I actually neg negated or didn't really choose to actually get the Mantanoid, the Aquas Mantanoid. Now for some reason uh, you actually uh, in this now, yes. Now, th I know for a fact they actually use the Mantanoid uh, one because because for because the things over here doesn't actually have 400 B power, but it actually has 700 B power. So that's actually not one they actually use. I believe, you know, I believe right off the top of my head, uh, this Fangor character card actually gives you, uh, I believe it deals for every, like, 200 or something, you get, like, extra, every 700, you get, like, two extra, it starts off with actually five, uh, you know, five damage to your opponent, but, uh, yeah. Now, five damage, and then you eventually get seven. If you hit like, if you hit like a shield or something, you get like plus two attack damage. So it is seven. So I believe it starts five, but I, I don't know. It's, um, just just get a fan for yourself. But uh, yeah. Uh, just right right off the bat. Uh, when you fuse or oh, you actually fuse it, it takes five and hit this. Once you hit it, it gets cool like that, but obviously now it's actually really cool because you know, it's specifically well this one's a lot more complicated. Now with the fusion ones, I will actually show you how to actually, you know, close them, but this one's fifteen, which is more than uh, the Trino, Hydrus X Trino. Well, more opponent damage, but lower uh fusion B power. But specifically to actually close this, what what you need to do is uh, close that. 
Well, there's actually no instruction to actually how to do it. Hopefully, I don't break anything. But, yeah, you actually can't find this, the Phantasarx Mantanoid, uh, in this, you know, just regular retail box. But, yeah, you can actually just close that now. Hopefully, I don't break anything. Now, it takes actually multiple hands to actually do this. Now, actually closing, uh, trying to know. Uh, what I found is, uh, well, you can actually close it. That doesn't actually hinder anything. But you just close that. Make sure it just doesn't spring open. Now, I was I'm kind of going towards at least, you know, kind of more difficult one. But you kind of want to f try to get to a ball form. But I want to close this, slot, slot this thing forward. Close that up. Basically, bring the wings down. Basically, uh, now that just looks awkward. Hang on. If that doesn't work, you actually have to open up again and then you know, try to close it. Again, you gotta actually close this. You actually have to close this first. And you basically have to close the head. Basically have to trap the head in there. Like so, basically. And, uh, basically just do that. And, well, this basically similar to Ultra 1. Uh, AC, well, I did this wrong. You actually had to put the feet in, like he's doing some weird yoga pose. Okay, bring this in, bring that in, and basically just bring the tail in. Now, that should show you, just do it all quick. Remember, I just showed you how to do that. Now, actually doing the Ultra is very, it's kind of, it's similar, but... Hopefully I'm doing this right. I've heard you basically just close like that. You each feet like so. I want to close this. I did this off camera. I don't know why I can't do this now. Uh, but yeah, you got to put the feet under. Have the hands holding it down. You got to bring the wings like so. You just close up like that. It's probably like there's no actually no clicking sound, so uh, yeah, you you gotta make sure you actually don't drop the ultra or specifically this one. But yeah, now I obviously now getting these guys all the side and all to my conclusion. Obviously, yes, this uh, fusion bundle is actually worth it if you if you are looking for some exclusives. Now uh, this is an exclusive. Uh, now, a lot of the, a lot of these are actually exclusive. Now I'm not entirely sure because. In my state, uh, the Fusion Force is actually just coming out. You may have to check Walmart. And I know Target doesn't really sell, doesn't really have these out on stock as much. But but uh, yeah, you basically need to actually look around. I, I found these at Walmart. Uh, in order to actually, well, now to actually clarify, I was right. Uh, now for the actual core Fangzor that I have, it's actually 700 and actually 2, uh, 2 B power, which makes leads me to believe that the Mantanoid is actually the one that's actually being featured, the one up front. But now this plus five, the if you hit a sh the the shield, the one shield, you get plus five to your to that to this here, I mean seven. But you actually have to hit a shield. So uh yeah. There's a lot of thinking involved, but uh yeah. Now Overall, my opinion is actually very, is actually very positive about these. Now, it's worth it. I highly recommend you find find, find these. I look Walmart. Uh, this is a Walmart exclusive. Now, I don't you know for those of you who are international, like Canada. I don't believe there's even a Walmart in Canada. I look around. Uh, I think Target also has a Fusion bundle or something. I don't. I'm not entirely sure if that's true or not. But look, look it up. Uh, please, please be sure to actually pick. Pick up a fusion bundle, worth it. A plus, you do get plus, plus you do actually get these. This mean now uh, special uh, gate cards or gate cards. You know when you roll, you can box that stand, which basically in the show, basically, and also translating the game, basically means it actually opens up and basically opens up. So yeah, worth it. Yes, but you can you can also get the individual one like the. Like the Ultra one, which actually does open up, I don't believe uh, Spin Master is actually releasing the core individually. Uh, you can, 
But if you do get Ultra One, it also does come with the Gate Trainer one, so uh yeah, now well I actually did find another core. Now this is actually backtrack, I did not think about that earlier. Now the core ones, you it does also come, so come with the gate trainer. So yeah, each one is a single pack, you do actually get a gate trainer card, which actually is worth it. So uh yeah. But uh yeah guys, that's gonna wrap it up for my review of this. If you enjoy, please be sure to hit that like button down below, co comment, comment what, what you want to see next, or comment just any feedback. I do read all the comments down below, but yeah, anyways guys, thank you, thank you guys so much for watching, and fly her pilot.